Hey there. Um, as guitar players, we tend to play two roles, rhythm and lead. Okay, we, we either we're the rhythm player in a band or the lead player in a band, or we are responsible for both. Um, and we've been talking about a lot of chord stuff and everything, and I figured I want to show you what's ultimately going to be your first pentatonic scale. And pentatonic scales are, are a great starting place, because when you want to be a, a lead player, when you want to play lead, you're going to need to build on a foundation of scale knowledge. Um, you don't, it's not mandatory, but it certainly doesn't hurt, and it gives you great starting places. So this first scale I'm going to show you is, um, is a minor pentatonic scale, okay? And uh, just follow along, I'm going to give you the fingering and the names of the notes, and um, we're going to start at the fifth fret on the bottom string, first finger, right there on A. And then we're going to play um, the eighth fret with our pinky, which is C. Then we're going to play on the next string, we're going to play fifth fret on the, on the fifth string, then seventh fret with our third finger, then fifth fret on the fourth string, third fret, I mean, uh, sorry, seventh fret with our third finger, fifth fret of the third string with our first finger, <laughs> so many numbers, third fret, I mean, sorry, third finger, see, I'm confusing even myself here, at the seventh fret, we're going to do this again faster though, watch, okay, first finger on the fifth fret of the second string, pinky on the eighth fret of the second string, fifth fret, and then eighth fret, so again, fret wise, I'm going to just read them off, Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Fingering wise, it's one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Okay? Now, like a bar chord that has no open strings, a bar chord is completely movable. So when you learn your F bar chord, you actually can play F sharp, G. It's that's what I love about bar chords, or in particular any kind of chord that doesn't have an open string. When you learn one, you've learned 12, because you can move it across all 12 frets and play it um, in all those different keys. So it's you're, you're multiplying your knowledge just like that. I love that kind of stuff. Okay, same thing is, same exact thing is true with the pentatonic scale, or any scale that doesn't have open strings in it. So in this case, this is an A minor pentatonic. And it works good over like an A7 blues. minor okay because it is an A minor pentatonic okay but if I wanted to play an F minor I could just take the scale down and play one four one three one three one three one four one four right here at the first fret okay does that make sense if I want to play in C I just slide it all the way up to up to the up to the uh, eighth fret C note and play from there Okay, so this is the first scale that you're going to want to um, uh, kind of get under your fingers, so to speak. And um, if you stick around at the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a play along um, that goes from the first fret all the way to the to the ninth fret. Okay, so for acoustic players, and I would recommend practicing ascending and descending every fret just so you can kind of get used to it and if you have if you're an electric player if you're playing electric guitar you can keep going because it it's it's a little harder down here it gets a little easier in the middle and then it when your fingers start getting more cramped it gets a little harder again so it's good to kind of practice across the entire fretboard um, when you're working on something like a scale okay now one of the things i really like about this scale is okay remember it's an a minor pentatonic the notes are a c d e G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, if I want to keep going, D, E, G, A, but you'll notice that there are three A's in this. So here at the fifth fret of the bottom string, of the E string, here at the seventh fret of the D string, and here at the first, uh, fifth fret of the first string. And those A's, I like, I like to think of, of them as kind of landing notes. Those are your roots, those are the tonics. So if you're an A, blues, you got places you can. You got places you can land that make it sound like you know what you're doing. <laughs> so if you land on the root, and you don't want to always land on the root, it gets a little boring melodically um, if you do that. And part of the thing we want to ultimately do is start to mix it up a little bit. Now I'm going to do some videos where you can. I'm going to give you some patterns to work on with the pentatonic scales. 
Uh, but even patterns sound like patterns. You need to start to think melodically. And one trick that I really suggest you do, especially if you're by yourself, is sing along with your notes. Sing along with what you're playing. Now what that does is, um, <clears throat> And it, you might, you know, that you're going to find yourself out of your range as you go up and down. But that's why you do it by yourself, so you can scream and no one's going to hear you. Um, but the, the reason you do that is to try to connect your head to your hands. Initially, you're going to be doing this. You're going to be reacting to what you're playing. You're going to sing what you play. Eventually, you'll be able to get those two together. But eventually, you can hear something or sing something, and then you can play it. And that's the idea. It's ultimate goal in soloing and being a lead player is to be able to play anything you hear in your head. And, you're, and in your head, it's infinite. There are infinite possibilities. Nothing's ruled out. So that's why you kind of work on some dexterity things and you work on some scales and learn so that when you hear something in your head, you can, you can apply it right to the keyboard or the fretboard or the keyboard. Um, but anyway, that's, that's kind of the big picture thing. Um, and so stick around. I'm going to give you uh, the scale. And um, uh, we're gonna do it all. You know, we're gonna do it on nine frets. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys. Stick around. All right. I have my metronome here, and we're gonna, I'm gonna set it to 80. Um, and so we're gonna do quarter notes at 80, which is this. And we're gonna start the first fret. First finger at the first fret playing an F note. We're going to go up basically ascending and then descending. And we're going to go from the first fret to the ninth fret. Here we go. Three, four. Descending to three, four. Second fret, two, three, four. Descending two, three, four. skills at once you can practice the scale ascending descending with alternating picking ultimately you're going to need to use alternating picking if you're going to want to play fast two three four Repeat. Mm -hmm. Two, 
or pentatonic. Descending, two, three, four. There you go. Hope that helps.